What's up guys, MDPunk here, welcome back to my playthrough of Danganronpa Trigger, Happy Havoc, and today we are continuing the game because it is time to go to Chapter Dose, Chapter 2. Okay. <laughs> he said nothing, that's how we're starting things off here. Our room's nice and clean now. Or did we take Sayaka's room? What the fuck? The bathroom's clean? It's gone. She she really is gone. It's almost like there was never anything there to begin with. Every last sign of Sayaka's existence had disappeared without a trace. It's just like you said. After the class trial before we took the elevator back up, Monokuma told us. Uh huh? Oh, I almost forgot. Since the class trial's over, I'll go ahead and dispose of all the corpses. What are you gonna do? It's okay. No, no, no need to thank me. Just seeing your delighted smiling faces is thanks enough for me. After all, nobody wants to look at a rotting corpse every day. That can't be good for your health. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I mean, that's fair. I didn't even have time to mourn Sayaka and Junko's deaths. I'm sure. That's, I'm sure that's exactly why he did it. It's a bad joke, a sickening dream, but I have to accept the reality of it all. I headed back to the dining hall to meet up with the others. It's night time though. Sorry I'm late. So, um... Hey, are you okay, Makoto? Listen to me! You should have took your sweet time. I was just about to go get you and drag you back here. S sorry. Mm. So, mm. what happened? Was the room fixed up like you said? <laughs> I imagine it would be pretty hard to sleep with a rotting corpse in your bathroom. Why would you just say that, man? Read the mood. Hey, come on. Jesus, that's fucked up, man. Why would you even say something like that? My room was spotless. There wasn't anything left. Like the whole thing never happened. I see. It must be tough staying there knowing what happened. Why don't you just stay in Sayaka's room? Well, staying there with her scent still hanging in the air, that would hurt just as much. Plus, I've decided that I can't turn away from her death. Hmm. Makoto. Um... Hey, cheer up. Getting depressed isn't going to help anything, right? If we all work together, I'm sure we'll find a way out of here. You got it! So everyone just try and cheer up and get back on track. Hmm. Isn't it honestly supposed to make us feel better? Huh? Huh? Hmm. We were already working together and yet someone was still murdered. Anyone could betray us at this point. Now that's happened once, it's a question of when, not if, the next one takes place. <laughs> yeah, because Sayaka made the first move. Well... But if we work together against the mastermind, nobody will have any reason to do something like that. Stop talking. She keeps telling herself that. I'll be over here in the real world. Working together, fighting a common enemy, like it or not, it's not that simple. Um, what do you mean? Are you okay with this? The mastermind seems to be much more powerful than we ever suspected. They took over Hope's Peak, which is supposed to be well defended, then modified it to their desire. They created Monokuma, which seems to be incredibly advanced, and they're providing for our every need. And the cherry on top is the execution we witnessed. Honestly. Everything has been planned down to the last excruciating detail. This is not the work of your everyday psychopath. The finding may be too great of a risk. So then. Then what are we supposed to do? <laughs> Anyone who truly wants to escape will just have to follow the rules. <laughs> In which case, the only option is to deceive those around you and win the game. N no. What? No what? <laughs> I don't want to live take it. if it means killing someone else to do it. I don't want to kill anyone else. Huh? Anyone else? What do you mean? It's because... Leon died because we all voted for him, right? It's no different than us killing him ourselves. But... She's actually kind of right there. If we hadn't voted for him, then we all would have died instead, right? That isn't what you wanted, is it? So it would seem. She's right. If you heap that kind of blame on yourself, you'll turn into a full-fledged masochist. Chihiro, listen, you're not to blame. Not you, not Leon, and not Sayaka. The mastermind is responsible for everything that's happened. We had no choice but to vote. I can't even imagine what would have happened to us if we'd refused. And in the end, it was Monokuma who ultimately killed Leon. So don't waste your anger on yourself. Instead, direct it at the mastermind. Yes, yep, it's my time. The door. Oh, it was totally obvious before that you were trying to make yourself feel oh, better God. and justify what you did. See you, see you, don't see you, see you. That's about how much I can see you, even when you try to hide. Don't see you, what is that? Now what? pay attention and remember this well. The burden of judging others is a heavy one to bear. Ah! So be well aware Get out. of your actions. 
Order and stability rely on the sacrifice and responsibility of everyone. Okay, then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. What an evil motherfucker. <laughs> what was that about just now? Is he saying it's our fault what happened? That's pretty cruel, man. Don't fuck with that me. That piece of shit, who does he think he is? And so the day drew to a close. A tense, maddening day that saw the deaths of three classmates, Saika, Junko, and Leon. But this is just the beginning. Our despair has only just begun. Boy's Life of Despair. Daily Life. I woke up the next day to Monokuma's normal morning announcement. Then he called us all to the gym. What's he gonna do to us this time? We were practically frozen with fear, but Monokuma was determined to get us involved in his little game. And with that goal in mind, he began it. Okay, lift your arms up and down. Oh my god, what is this? And Taka's standing there in the middle of the room. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now reach way up. And bend way down. Tighten those muscles. Let's add a little strength, a little speed to those young bodies of yours. That sounds creepy as shit. <laughs> Doesn't this just feel great being stuck inside like this? You gotta make sure to stay healthy. <laughs> You're the one keeping us stuck inside. <laughs> Don't sweat the small stuff, that's my motto. Yeah Whoa, I sound pretty cool just now, don't you think? Did you fall in love with me? Am I just a die for? Am I just a die in writhing agony for? So? So, why did you call us here? Certainly it wasn't just to make us exercise. Yeah. Just to make you exercise. Just to make you exercise. Hey. If exercise makes you laugh, exercise will make you cry. Now, if you keep doing these exercises, you will uncover the secret of the assassin's fist. <laughs> Passed down from generation to generation in the empire of darkness. The power can be yours. Mm -hmm. That sounds, sounds like the kind of junk a middle schooler would come up with. It doesn't matter. Just get to the point. Did you really call us down here just to exercise? Hey, um... Of course not. You think I have that kind of free time on my hands? Okay, so then... Hmm. Ah, I'd like to make an announcement. Every time you overcome a class trial here at Hope's Peak, a whole new world will open up to you. What the heck? A whole new world. You guys? It'd really suck if you had to live here forever with nothing new to stimulate you. Besides, I know how you kids get these days with your ADD and ADHD. I gotta keep you motivated. Very so go nice. ahead, look around all you want. Enjoy the brave new post-trial world till you explode. Wow. With that, Monokuma disappeared, leaving us even more confused than when he showed up. But... A new world? Could it be? Is he talking about a way to get outside? I wonder about that. Piece of shit! Well, we don't know until we look. Hey. Whatever he meant, it seems we'll have to search the school one more time. You hear me? Okay, then let's pull up and start investigating. When you're done, everyone meet back up in the dining hall and we'll share what we found. <laughs> you're basically a one-trick pony, you know that? Got it! More like a staple food source. Now let's get moving. Seeing he, seeing his words is their signal, where everyone scattered and left the gym. No one stayed. No one actually stayed this time. I'm pretty sure it's the second floor. What do you think, what Hero? The heck? Hey, Makoto, did you see what's inside the display case? Bad, this is super bad, man. What are you talking about? I didn't notice anything all that weird in there. Hmm. Sure, to the untrained eye, it's nothing, but this, this is awful. A bad, awful, terrible trap. Serious. That stuff you see lined up there? Any god could come by and use it to send a message. Huh? Uh, uh, I've been stuck with knowledge. It's an ill omen of total devastation and ruin. Let me out of here! I have no idea what he's talking about, so maybe I'll just leave him alone. Yeah, it's just normal shit. Trophies and whatnot. Alright. Well. Yep, yeah, look at this. It's completely opened up. Got it! Makoto, look! The gate block in the stairs is gone. It would seem a path to the second floor is opened you up. Hear me? What's also of utmost important to double check the areas you already know about, just in case. Without a doubt. Aren't I so clever to think of that? I really impress myself sometimes. You understand? Well, I'll leave the school to you. The, the um so that no the nurse's office is still closed. Now we do have like 79 monokuma coins. Oh. Fine. I guess I'll have to wait for free time. The gate that was blocking the stairs has been opened. Is this what Monokuma meant by a new world? If so, what's up there? 
This is the second floor of the school. Maybe there's some kind of clue here. Yeah, I'm sure, but there's gotta be something here. Uh, the pool's here. That's gonna make Asahina happy. Now, of course, she's right in here. Just a second. Oh, Makoto, hey, guess what? Guess what? Down the pool, there's a pool here. A pool, 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 pool. You don't have to keep repeating it. I got okay. it. And there's a ton of exercise equipment in the locker room. Sakura's gonna go nuts when she finds it. Yeah, you're right about that. Hina seems way more excited than usual. Hey, Shiro, have you checked out the pool yet? Uh, uh... No. I don't like wearing swimsuits. Yeah, you seem like the type who might not be into that kind of thing. But... But still, it sounds like the locker rooms here have all the exercise equipment you can ask for. Maybe I'll give it a try. I'd kind of like to get a little stronger. You want to get stronger? I have to say, that's kind of unexpected. Yeah. But I'm not even brave enough to set foot into the locker room. Huh? You don't even want to go in the locker um... room? It's not that I don't want to, it's just... I don't get it. Is she afraid of locker rooms or something? That's a pretty weird phobia, though. There's one for the boys and the girls. <laughs> The second floor has opened up, the living area has grown, and a number of facilities are now available. Whatever else is going on, I must admit, things have been made much more comfortable for us. Do you understand? If things continue like this, the occasional class trial may not be so bad. <laughs> That's a terrible thing to say! That's a giant machine gun. Hello? Is that a real gun? It's not like we're at war here. Why would we need something like that here? Behind this door is the locker room? Yeah! Oh, and I guess you need your handbook to get into the locker rooms. Really? Of course! Really, really! Oh. Hmm. If you want to unlock the locker room, you have to swipe your personal e-handbook across the card either next to the door. Uh -huh. Whatever, it's to ensure maximum security within each locker room, only a boy's handbook can open the boy's locker room, and the same goes for the girls. And that's the bottom line! Right. Custom called said so! What? But if someone opens the door and then someone else sneaks in. Anyone who commits such indecency will be punished without mercy for the scandalous sexual depravity. See, that's a Gatling gun mounted on the ceiling, right? That'll be all. Just a second. I bet it really hurt to get shot by that thing. Um, um no, I think it'd be a little worse than that. Mm. But what happens if someone loans their handbook to someone else? A boy could follow a girl's handbook, and that would get them into the girls' locker room, would it not? <laughs> well, that never even occurred to me to think someone could be so low, so cowardly, so devilish. Mm -hmm. Hmm, okay, then how's this sound? I got it! Time for a new rule. As of this moment, loading your e-handbook to another student is strictly prohibited. <laughs> there, so now nobody can give away their handbook to anyone else, right? You like that? I'm kind of a genius, right? It's because my brain is 100% cotton. Honestly. I do not imagine anyone would have left their handbook out in the first place. Is that okay? After all, they would be likely be held responsible for anything that that person might get using the handbook. So, um... But you know, you seem awfully concerned with all this locker room security stuff. Of course! It's because all you teenagers are sex-crazed maniacs! You're at the age where you try helping a plastic bottle! So to keep anything unseemly from happening, I have to maintain a rigorous watch! <laughs> Then in that case, I would ask that you keep the same close eye on our dorm if some man and some woman decide to share a room. There would be nothing to stop them. <laughs> All I care about is protecting the holy image of the school Disgusting. itself. I don't care what happens in your private dorms. By force or by killing, do whatever you want. Just the worst. See ya. Okay, so the new regulation is now in place. See ya. <sighs> man, this super bear totally ruined my mood. Maybe I'll go take a dip to cheer you myself up. Celeste, here, you want to come with me? As for me... There is nothing I hate more than getting water on my face. Uh, I'm sorry. sorry. I'll pass this time. <gasps> How come? When you're in your funk, there's nothing better than a good swim to pull you out of it. I'm pretty sure that only applies to you. Ultimate swimmer. That must be the reader there. The boys like room card reader can open use a money handbook. We won't, though. The blue are different yawns. Poor related items on the shelf. And I'm on Kuma coin. We have 83 now. Holy shit. That's nuts. It looks like one of those lifesaver flotation donuts. Hey, got that 84. This is the girls' locker room. The door of the girls' locker room. I have no way of unlocking it, so I couldn't go in even if I wanted to. Alright, so that's the pool. See, look, looks like there's another floor at least. Oh, there's another classroom, 2A. This baby is sleeping, please be quiet. I see. It's the same way he meant by a new world. Hmm. I should probably take a really close look around. 
Is there anything in here? Just the usual? Seems to be. A dead end hallway for some reason. Look, yeah, floors in the next area. The gate's blocking my way, so there's still another floor, which means not everything has opened up yet. The fuck is this? It's a massive, like. What is this? This is so weird. This massive open area. Oh, the library's here. Oh, Kyoko's in here. <sighs> it's remarkably dusty in here, and the lighting is less than ideal. For a library, it's not the kind of place I'd want to do much reading in. What's this? The shelf is covered in dust, but on the shelf is a letter. What's this? Hope's Peak Academy? Indeed. It was buried under a thick layer of dust. It must have been sitting there for quite a while. Well, shall we see what's inside? But we shouldn't read other people's mail without their permission. Is that right? What we shouldn't do is leave this here without finding out what's inside. Okay. I broke the seal on the dusty envelope and pulled out the single sheet of paper I found inside. I unfolded the paper and what was written there from the Host Pick Academy Executive Office. Throughout the years, we have been committed to shaping the youth who will one day shape the world. We have a long, proud history as an institution of higher learning with full governmental support. Our graduates enter society ready to take on active leadership roles in every major job field. However, Hope's Peak Academy must now lower the curtain on its glorious history for the time being. This decision was not an easy one to make, but serious issues beyond our control have made it necessary. But make no mistake, this is not the end for Hope's Peak Academy. We intend to reopen, reopen our doors as soon as the issues forcing our closure have been resolved. That being said, this is the end for now. I, I would like to personally and sincerely thank everyone for their, your help and support over the years. For now, we are waiting official governmental authorization to formally cease operations. What does this mean? Hmm. Hmm, the contents of this letter are quite interesting indeed. It would seem... Hope's Peak Academy had stopped functioning as a school. And judging by the amount of dust the letter had collected, it doesn't seem to have happened recently. If I had to guess, I'd say this letter could be at least a year old. So you're saying Hope's Peak closed down at least a year ago? Most likely, the mastermind took over the abandoned school in order to put on this little performance. But that would mean it was closed when I got here just a few days ago. But I didn't get that sense at all. Plus, if the school had shut down, don't you think it would have been in all the newspapers and stuff? I mean, you're saying it could have happened over a year ago, right? But before I got here, I looked stuff up online about the school and never saw anything about this. So, in other words... That must have been all part of the Mastermind's plan. They lured us all in here. Someone who could create a place to judge and execute people could potentially be capable in it of anything. <laughs> Of course, it's all assuming that this letter is real. However... If it is real, though, that does solve one mystery surrounding the school. The reason there is no other students here could be because the school had already closed down. Hmm. That would be a nice, simple solution, if it's true. But then, what about this other part? It was not serious issues beyond our control, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What do they mean by serious issues? That's apparently why the school had to close. Is there any connection between that and what's happening to us now? No. If the two yeah. events are in fact connected, uncovering that connection would be a useful clue on top of figuring out the mastermind's motive. Although I can't really say any more until we find more details. Hmm. So in other words, only the mastermind knows the truth right now. The mastermind's motive. If we can figure out why they would want to imprison us all here, would that be enough to get us out of here? Or... Fumi! Hey? I'm about... I'm absolutely shocked. How come? Damnation. They have all these books here and not one copy of any of my works! <sighs> well, yeah, but why would they have comics in our library? <laughs> Plus, this fanfic is just porn drawn by a bunch of amateurs. Damn. <laughs> you just don't get it. Not at all. I d <laughs> do too get it. And with a face like curious, anyone can tell nothing you do is worthwhile. <laughs> Damn! Say whatever you want about me, but never judge a book by its author. You know now hear this. Appearances mean nothing at all. Well, you see, before you was nothing more than the rhyme that contains the meaning pulp of my genius. Here we go. My creations are what determine my meaning and value. You're so full <laughs> of it. 
She's so <laughs> weird, dude. I'm used to being misunderstood. You think attacks on Curious will drop my HP? Those two really worry me. Yeah, they're both, like, nuts. I honestly think that they're both insane. Um, do I think they're insane enough to kill Hifumi? Maybe not. But, I don't know. I could see... I could see Toko kind of losing her mind at some point. She just seems that kind of like that kind of person. Hmm. But still, this library is most interesting, huh? What's, what's interesting about it? Stop talking. Oh, nothing. I was just thinking out loud. What a dick. Let's look at the bookshelf. Maybe there's some Monokuma coins. The shelf is packed tight with books. We're looking at it. The whole thing is incredibly dusty. It looks like this library has been neglected for a pretty long time. Even though it's a prestigious high school, they've been pretty careless about keeping it nice. I knew there'd be one in there. Just gonna be more of the same. Yeah. There's a laptop there, hold on. It looks like a laptop. The laptop looks pretty old and it's all covered in dust. So... It's broken. I tried pressing the power button earlier, but nothing happened. It's broken, huh? It's too bad. I'll stop like I could use it to go online and see what's going on in the outside world. If it's broken, there's nothing I can really do about it. Anyway, now I have a pretty good idea what's on the second floor, but I didn't see anything, anything that might lead to any kind of exit or anything. All I can do now is hope someone else found something worthwhile. Okay, I'd better head back to the dining hall as soon as possible. I guess that's it! <laughs> I know we were done. Listen to okay, me. ladies and gentlemen, how'd it go? Did anyone discover any interesting new anything? Yes, indeed. There's a library. Okay. And a pool, a freaking pool, and locker room is filled with exercise equipment. Well, that was not, however, anything resembling an escape room. Yeah, she's right. I see. Well, hey, there's a reason to get all sulky. Wait till you hear about my amazing discovery. Quiet down and listen. The warehouse and bathhouse on the first floor of the dorms are now open. You hear me? And the warehouse is chock full of food, clothes, whatever you want. There's so much it's insane. <laughs> so go ahead and suck yourself to the gills whenever you feel like. Are you okay with this? Keep in mind, of course, that going out at nighttime is still prohibited. Please do not forget. Yo. Okay, what about fucking way out of here? You find anything like that? <laughs> well, um... What? There wasn't anything in the warehouse what? we could use to get our asses out of here? Nothing? Unfortunately, no, not that I saw. Hey, come on. You fucking people. What? Who gives a shit if we have a goddamn pool now or a warehouse or whatever the fuck? Stop fucking We're around. We're still trapped in this piece of shit school. We need to find a goddamn way out. <laughs> now, now, there's no point in taking her anger out on us. Adaption is the key, yes? For now, we must each find a way to enjoy our current situation. You piece of... Whatever you say, you fucking loon. <laughs> For now let's just continue our investigation and let everyone know if we, if you should discover so something else. So we're done for today. Yeah. Well, yeah, I guess so. The air seemed to suddenly grow heavy again. Was this the mastermind's plan to give us hope? Just to turn around and betray that hope? Hmm. It's nighttime already. God damn it! No free time today. Hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Night time. We all promise not to leave our rooms during night time. There's not much else to do. I guess I'll just go to bed. Monokuma Theater. Mr. Monokuma, Mr. Monokuma, do you have a second? I, I don't really like myself. I don't have any kind of skill or hobby I can say I'm super good at. And with my grades are totally average too. My reflexes are okay. Not great. Not awful. I could get into a decent college where I'd make a few friends, maybe even find a normal girlfriend. Which is exactly why I don't like who I am. I understand that now. My life is just one giant copy-paste. I don't have any imagination. I'm a perfectly average cardboard cutout. You see what I mean, right, Mr. Monokuma? What? That was weird. Those just get weirder and weirder. Beautiful day, yep. Good. Get ready, Bo. That's right. Oh, shit. I wanted to let you know that your e-handbooks have been updated. New regulations have been added. So please take a look and enjoy your school life more than ever before. Well, people he talked about yesterday. He must be referring to yesterday. Yeah, loading your e-handbook from those student is strictly prohibited. But right now, I need to hurry up and head to breakfast. Do we have to get our breakfast? We'll just double check that real quick. 
Oh, we have our nameplate back? Sayaka. No, I can't waste time on sentiment sentimentality now. The others will be waiting for me in the dining hall. What, would, what happens when it goes to Junko's room? Junko, she's gone for good. Yep. Where's Leon's room? Leon, oh, he's gone for good. Okay, so that's all they're gonna say in regards to that is, oh, they're gone for good. I can't let it go. Whew. Excuse me. Let's check out the bath. So yeah, he doesn't want to. Fine, we'll go to breakfast. Hey, Makoto. Good morning. Is everyone here already? Yo, yo, nope, yo. Nope, still waiting on Byakuya and Taka. Yaka is no surprise, but strange, Taka's not here yet. <laughs> Knowing Taka, I imagine he's trying to get the king of tardiness up and out of bed. <laughs> I'm sure they'll be here soon enough. Just be patient. Let's see. I don't mind waiting for them, but there is one problem, which is... <sighs> I am thirsty. Hey, come on. How the hell is that a problem? <laughs> Ifumi, would you make me some tea? Mm -hmm. Huh? <laughs> Milk tea, if you please. Well, why me? Let's see. The roundish figure reminds me of the owner of the coffee shop I used to frequent. That's your reason? This is fine. I can feel my throat drying out. Quickly, please. Oh. Uh, okay. They actually did it! Apparently unable to refuse Celeste's order, Hakumi shulked his way into the kitchen. And a few minutes later... <laughs> Thank you for waiting. Hakumi reappeared with tray in hand, the gentle aroma growing stronger as he approached. <laughs> hmm, finally. <laughs> you could have made some for the rest of us, you know. There's no way to I think about this in a common sense kind of way. You're not my type at all. <laughs> it's all with the law of casualty, basic instinct, act and react. <laughs> That's what you get, bitch, tiny hands. <laughs> well then, if you don't mind. A small smile played across her lips as she held the teacup delicately in her hand. Oh. Wait. She cocked her head to the side and threw the cup as hard as she could at the wall. What the fuck? What? Hey, what are you doing, my little white rabbit? Mm. I hate this kind of tea. Um, um, I don't understand. Yes, Imagine we are at a coffee shop, just any normal everyday cafe. I sit down and I order some tea. Then ask me, would you like lemon or milk? Now, I further imagine I replied, ah, yes, I would like milk tea, please. In this case, along with my tea, they may bring me a small container of milk, yes? <sighs> but this is not for me. I am among those who prefer the milk to be part of the process from the outset. The fragrance is just so overwhelmingly sweet that, that way. Adding milk and lemon right before you drink is like dousing your fries in ketchup. Mere condiments. Whenever looking for a cafe, I first review their menu to see if it order offers the proper style of milk tea. <laughs> now, I can't acknowledge any milk tea that does not add the milk during the brewing process. If I had to describe our shared reaction to what we just heard, I'd have to go with wide-eyed bewilderment. Um, I went to all that trouble to make you that tea, and you wanted me to go even farther? <sighs> yes, I realize it can be a bit of a hassle. Even in cafes that offer proper milk tea, it's always more expensive than simple tea with milk. It takes more time to prepare, surely, but... <laughs> why even bother creating a menu if you're not going to offer the highest level of quality? Well, we don't actually have a menu. You little bitch! What the fuck?! Hurry up and bring me what I asked for, swine! Say what? He just went with it. I, what? You were like a totally different person just now. Shit. Yeah, shit, you really went psycho there. <laughs> I knew there was more to her when I first met her. I'd hate to have her as an enemy. Seriously, man, she's one scary chick. The dining hall doors flew open and one of the late arrivals came storming in. But... <laughs> Hmm. Bad news, everyone. There's a mystery afoot. Huh? huh? What happened? <sighs> it would seem Byakuya refuses to leave his room. I said they're pressing his doorbell over and over, but he never showed himself. Maybe he just wasn't there. I think maybe... I like to think so, but I'm worried something might have happened to him. What he meant by that, he didn't have to say anything else. Everyone understood exactly what that might mean. It might be a good idea if we all split up and go look for him. Listen to me! Ah, oh, I was just about to suggest the same thing. What's your problem? Um... Okay, then I'll go check his room one more time. I'm just gonna keep on hammering that button until I get a response. Uh, Very well, the rest of us can go check the rest of the building. Uh, um... Yeah, before it's, you know, too late. Anyway, we just have to do our best to find Byakuya. So I want Byakuya have gone. Maybe he wanted to check out the second floor of the school again. I'm not even talking to her. She's a goddamn psychopath.
So let's head straight to the second floor. Because obviously that's where they want us to go. Now I'm going to try and go to the shop because I know they're not going to let me. Well, Kyoko's here. Hey. So you thought to come here too, huh? So... If you think about what Byakuya was so interested in yesterday, you can probably guess where he is right now, right? Huh? What was that Byakuya was interested in again? The library. When I opened the door of the library and looked inside, I cried out in a sudden surprise. Byakuya? Of all things I imagined, this most definitely wasn't one of them. Hey, uh, what are you doing? I'm fishing. What does it look like I'm doing? I'm trying to read, so if you could be quiet. Oh, sorry. Wait, no! What are you doing here? Everyone's super worried. We've all been looking for you. Who asked you to do that? He's just a douche. B because we're all supposed to meet up in the morning and eat together. We made a promise. A promise? <sighs> Can't I get a second's peace and quiet around here? God damn. Ryakuya snapped his book shut and slowly stood up, smooth and silent as a shadow. Meanwhile, the others must have heard me yell and started showing up one after another. Yo! Uh, the heck are you doing here, man? Mm -hmm. We were very concerned. Hmm. Well, you had no reason to be. I was just reading. I've never read such a coarse novel before, but it might just prove useful at some point. Well... What were you reading? <laughs> A mystery novel. Well... Wait, so they're gonna use what you're learning in there to betray us? Hmm. Don't be stupid. Yeah! Hmm. It's just something to keep in mind. Yeah, what? Naturally. If I decide to fight, of course, I'll come up with something original. Otherwise, this game of ours will be totally boring, right? <laughs> it's not often you get to take part in such a high-stakes, high-tension activity. So if you're going to do it, you have to make sure it's entertaining. His words sent a chill down my spine. There was an undeniable smile on his face as he spoke. He looked like he was actually enjoying himself. Enjoying this deranged killing game. Damn what the you. fuck do you mean, game? That's fucked up! Hmm. But it is a game. It's a game of life or death, in which I'll have only one winner. That's all there is to it. <sighs> he is right. It's a zero-sum game. Huh? Are you okay with it's this? A, it is a part of a game theory, a mathematical model. In game theory, what we are going through now is called a zero-sum game. In this type of game, in order for one person to gain something, another must necessar necessarily lose something. In other words, is a situation in which participants must compete for position or resources. I see. You mean like a kind of elimination match? Actually. Entrance exams, sports tournaments, job openings, most social interactions fall into this category. Everyone must scramble to obtain something which is limited. For you to succeed, someone else must fail. This also applies to the school life we have been subjected to here. In this is that case. Okay? Our limited resource is that only one of us can successfully become the Blacken. So in other words... So this game was designed from the beginning to force us, one of us to try and defeat all the others. That, that can't be what they had in mind! <laughs> this is why adaptation is so crucial. If those who want to escape were to disappear, there would be no reason to continue playing the game. What? Why would I want to stop playing? It's so much fun. He smiled again as he spoke. The smile was filled with evil intent. It twisted his face into something not human. <sighs> it sounds as if you did not acknowledge even the possibility that you may lose, am I right? Naturally. Of course. <laughs> you do not speak like the others, exactly what I would expect from the Togami hair appearance. <sighs> it's just normal arrogance, isn't it? Just a second! You talk like that, but what if you end up dead? Not possible. I won't. It simply isn't possible. You son of a bitch! Who the fuck do you think you are? You know, I still just can't believe it. What? Believe what? That uneducated, brain dead, useless pair of garbage on Q has survived this long. Piece of shit! I'm gonna fucking kill you! Don't make me repeat Like I that said, stuff. I won't die. <sighs> he was saying that, but do not bother arguing with him. For him, the concept of losing simply does not exist. He is the ultimate affluent progeny, after all. A boy raised to succeed from the day he was born. He considers victory his destiny and has lived his life accordingly. Tests and challenges are merely ways for him to stand victorious, even if it is a life and death situation. <laughs> is that not so, Biafia? <laughs> At least one of you seems to understand. Isn't it wonderful? It's because I am the same as you. Games are meant to be won. That's enough. Are you trying to suggest we're on the same level? Close that vulgar mouth of yours. Oh. Well, well, I do apologize. <laughs> anyway, let me just say this to all of you. Y'all need to try harder. If the opponent isn't going to give it their best, where's the fun for me? N no. 
what? It's because- This isn't a game. Our lives are on the line, you know? To kill your own friends is- It's horrific! Friends? Who decided that? Huh? We're not friends. No, quite the opposite. We're in competition. We're enemies. But, but... What? But what? Stop trying to force your contradictions on me and just accept what I'm telling you. Um... Come on. Yes, if you have something to say, say it. Otherwise, keep your mouth closed. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, here we go again. Stop fucking around. Hey, shit, hey, you got a boy on people that can't fight back? You want to try that on me? Hmm. So you're back pretending to be friends, huh? And how long do you think that's going to last? Piece of shit! Fuck you! What? Is that all you can say? <laughs> it's, un it's unfortunate you would waste your breath on such empty gibberish. You son of a bitch! Just a second! Hold on, just calm down! Piece of shit! I am calm! <sighs> how is this calm? Hmm. Anyway, I don't have any intention of working with the rest of you any longer. To cooperate during an elimination game is, well, frankly, it's a waste of time, and I hate wasting my time. Waste of time? Not possible. Engaging in friendly group meals is out of the question. Someone could easily poison our food. I'd rather not become part of the Last Supper just yet. <sighs> shit. Quit talking like you're in a fucking movie or something. Goodbye. All I'm saying is that ultimately, you are all free to do whatever you want on your own. Without a second glance back, Byakuya left. There wasn't anything we could do to keep him from going. His way of thinking was just beyond anything the rest of us could even comprehend. But... Was he serious about all that? <laughs> he was, without a doubt. Don't fuck with me. Well, fuck him, then. <laughs> what he said, he might not necessarily be wrong. You just have a lady burner for him. I mean, can you say for sure someone won't poison our food? <laughs> hey, come on, you too, Toko? Anyway... Well, it's not like anyone would even care if I was gone, right? <laughs> Actually, I bet you all will want me gone. You all think I'm disgusting. None of us think that. <gasps> you just think you. that. Don't think that. <sighs> I know some people like to play the victim, but this is just totally out there. <clears throat> you think I don't know, but I do. You want me gone. And I'm sure the rest of you want the same thing, don't you? Uh, hey, Toko, wait. <laughs> just let her go. When she gets going on like that, there's nothing you can say to bring her back. That was nuts. Ultimately, our breakfast meeting came to an end without answering any questions. Everyone headed back to their rooms. Jeez, I'm tired already. If I don't have time to even take one day off, I need to get myself going. Free time! And that is where we are going to go ahead and end this episode, guys. I will see you next time for more Danganronpa.